I'm not sure that most people understand. I'm not sure that I really understood what it was gonna take to build a car from nothing. It's an astronomical amount of work. Sometimes less is more, especially in, in this world, you know. It, you, you can go to a point where you cross the line and then it becomes tacky. And, and having that balance and to be able to see the, uh, the lines and see where you need to make adjustments to even the body, I make them how I want to make them. And, and I make adjustments to everyone, not, not any of them are the same. I, I always change stuff. Um, and it, it's just, I think that's just a part of me. I don't. I like to, to challenge myself, and I think that's what the aluminum dually really was. If it gets to a point where I got bins full of parts that I can just go get and then put on the car where they need to be, I think I would be like bored senseless if I, if I can't just make every piece. I, I like it to be completely handmade, and I like it to look that way. I guess there's not really too much on this on this earth that's like driving a truck like that. It's it is what it is. You 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 don't have padding in the seats. You definitely need earplugs to drive it. It's a little too loud. But that's the point. I mean, it what is hot rodding about? It's, if you had a hot rod and it didn't have headers that stick out the side, it, it needs a hood on it. This shop is, is my grandfather's old general store. His nickname was Cutworm, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this shop, so the Cutworm is sort of a salute to him. But he, he loved them all the way, and if he were here and he, he could see this, he would, just, he would just think it was incredible. It's, uh, it's pretty special to have that connection with a Model A like my grandfather did. And f the fact that I'm building them from scratch, you know, it's, um, it's, pretty, it's pretty special to be a part of that, you know, to sort of have that sort of love for the same car that he did. Creatively, I think it, there is there is a bit more focus at night. It's it's like you're like the mad scientist in his workshop. You know, there's it's dark outside and no one's awake and there's sparks flying and we 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 definitely get more done during the night. 
hot rodding uh, per se is a totally different world of the automobile. I mean, these things that we're building, it's not something that that you will ever be able to just go to a dealership and test drive and buy. And it's, it's, it's not your father's Ford. It can fight, but we will win. That, that's, that's one of those things that you play that game back and forth when you build things all the time. And it's, can you suffer through that and, and still come out on top? It's, sometimes it's bad, but it, it, is it worth it to be cool? Is it worth it for you to get what you're trying to achieve? Absolutely. Hot riding in general is, is about that. That's what it's always been about to anyone is, is back in the day when hot rods first came out. The cool guys had hot rods, so it's been a tradition. That's what hot riding's about, is being cool. It doesn't really matter if you're comfortable. <laughs>